Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Priscilla and I'm an optometrist. So currently a lot of us are staying at home a lot more than what we're normally used to. And this stay at home or work at home situation has really changed the way that we interact with our devices and we're spending a lot more time on these screens. So with prolonged screen time, you can get something called computer vision syndrome, or it's also known as visual eye strain. And this affects up to 90% of computer users. This is when eye problems or symptoms arise from extended screen use, whether that is on your computer screen, phones or tablets. So you can get symptoms of headaches, sore eyes, feeling of tiredness or eye fatigue, dry eyes, blurry vision, light sensitivity or neck and shoulder pain. And how bad your symptoms get is associated with exactly how long you spend on your devices. So the longer you spend, the worse it can be. There are a few things that you can do to stop and reduce digital eye strain. So number one, try to take regular breaks from your screens. So when you're focusing on things up close, you have eye muscles in your eyes called ciliary muscles that contract to maintain the focus. By spending long periods on your screens, your eye muscles get tired and sore from excessive contraction. It's just like how your arms get tired from doing a lot of weights. So remember the 20-20-20 rule. So every 20 minutes, looking at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. And you can also have a little bit of a stretch during that break too. You can download apps on your phone or computer that work for iOS or Android devices, such as the iCare 2020 app. And so it reminds you every 20 minutes to take a break. There are plenty of apps out there that do exactly the same thing. So you can just try and find the one that works best for you. So number two is remember to blink. So normally people blink around eight to 21 times a minute. But when you're focused on your devices, you actually blink 60% less. And people have a tendency to have an incomplete blink where their eyes don't actually fully close, but their eyelids kind of do a lazy half blink. And this is especially prominent when you are on devices compared to if you're reading on paper. And when you're doing half blinks, you're not redistributing the tears across the surface. And so the lower part of the eyes dries out a lot quicker and this causes dry eyes. So to add to the 20-20-20 rule, when you're taking that break, also try and make a conscious effort to try and blink more or have full complete blinks. And you can also try and do this throughout the day as well. Number three, you can also use lubricating eye drops to help replenish the moisture. This will help just to freshen up your eyes. And if you're a contact lens wearer, dry eyes from digital eye syndrome can be a little bit worse. And so you might need to put the lubricating eye drops in a little bit more frequently. Australian guidelines suggest to put one drop in two to four times a day, or you can do more, or alternatively, you can just switch it up with some glasses. Number four, depending on where you are in the world, you might be using your air conditioner or your heater a little bit more frequently. But try and direct the air current away from your face. And if you're in a dry climate, a humidifier will also help. And all this is to try and prevent the tears from evaporating from your eyes too quickly. Number five, get your eyes tested to make sure you have the most up-to-date prescription. If you leave your eyes with the wrong prescription, although it might feel clear, your eyes might be exerting extra effort to try and maintain that focus. And so this will cause eye strain. Alternatively, if vision is unclear, that is also going to cause problems for obvious reasons. So make sure you get your eyes tested and this will allow you to get glasses that will give you that clarity and also have the ability to relax your eye muscles to allow it to work more efficiently. So I've had patients that come in just for a routine eye test thinking that their eyes are fine. And so I do the full test and then I find that they have a bit of a prescription which they're generally a bit surprised about. And so once I put the prescription on them, they notice that their vision is so much clearer and more comfortable compared to without them. Your work environment is also very important. So point number six, you don't want to have any distracting reflections or glare. So reflections from your monitor can make your eyes feel tired. You might notice that you start squinting or you're subconsciously trying to alter your position to get around the glare. You can try and reposition the monitor or your light to make sure that the light isn't directly behind or in front of the monitor. So a good position is to have it just slightly off to the side. If you have windows that are in the wrong spot, you can try and get blinds to reduce the amount of light that comes in. And if your computer screen is too bright, that's also taxing on your eyes. So you can try and reduce the brightness of the screens. What I found helpful for my phone is the dark mode setting, which changes the background for any compatible apps to be black instead of white. And especially like this at nighttime, it really helps to reduce my eye strain. So this is available for both Android and iOS. And the added side benefit, it helps to prolong your phone's battery life. You can also get filters on your screens or in glasses, such as an anti-reflective coating or a blue light filter. This will definitely help cut back glare and blue light. You can even purchase this without a prescription lens. 
but of course always get your eyes tested first just to make sure you don't even have a little bit of a mild prescription. Number seven, the type of lighting is important. So we need to look at the color temperature when considering the most comfortable light for your eyes. And this is measured in kelvins. So if you look at the color temperature spectrum here, this shows us different color temperatures ranging from 1000 to 10,000 kelvins. You want to try and use a natural light bulb, which is around 5,000 to 6,000 kelvins rather than a fluorescent lamp, which is about 3000 kelvins. And natural light is more balanced and it mimics natural sunlight, which helps to help you focus and reduce eye strain. If you're unsure what Kelvin temperature the bulb you're buying is, you can always check the bulb packaging label as it should be there. So you can have this bulb on your desk lamp and try and direct it onto your workspace rather than into your eyes or onto your monitor. And this helps to ensure your workspace is well lit. And try and keep your screen and the surrounding area the same brightness as well. So if the lights in your work or study area isn't emitting natural light, I'd suggest you change that. On the other hand, if you're lacking natural light in your work setup, you can use a desk lamp to fix that. With the desk lamp, try and direct it over the top of your workspace and don't have it directed to the monitor or into your face. This will help to reduce any glare or shadows. Number eight, you want to make sure your computer screen is acceptable distance away and appropriate height. So your computer screen should be about arm's length away and also the top of the computer screen monitor should be about eye level. This will help with your posture and reduce neck and shoulder strain. You can use up a book to prop up your computer screen to get it to the right height. And if your text are too small, you might find that you're just slowly inching yourself closer to the monitor. But what you can do is just enlarge the text size. For phones and tablets, a good rule of thumb is to keep it a distance from your chin to the elbow. And this is what we call the Harman distance. So here's a quick summary of all the points we discussed. Number one, Remember to take regular breaks, the 20-20-20 rule. And two, make sure you have full complete blinks. Three, use lubricating eye drops. Four, redirect any air conditioner or heater away from your face and use a humidifier if required. And five, get your eyes tested. Number six, reduce glare reflections either by positioning the light to the side or reducing your screen brightness or having a filter for your screen or coating on your glasses. Number seven, use a natural light bulb where possible. Eight, position your monitor arm's length away and eye level and have your phone or tablet harm and distance away. Remember, life right now is temporary and if you're spending more time on your devices more than what you normally would, that's perfectly fine. I hope that these tips will help keep your eyes comfortable during this quarantine period. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit the like button and leave a comment if you have any other tips and tricks of your own. Thanks for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.